Dear friends, we come together this afternoon in the presence of God to witness and to bless the joining together of Megan Hamill and Troy Griffith in holy marriage. Megan and Troy, as you come um, for marriage, um, I, I stole some photos <laughs> at the reception um, last night. Uh, Y'all have a lot of photos. Uh, my favorite uh, there is in the manger scene. The reason because I, I like the one with y'all in the manger scene because I remember about a year or so ago I stepped out of my office and y'all were uh, coming to restage that same shot. Now after today you'll have some even more photos uh, to add to your collection. But more than that, you'll have much more than just photos. What we celebrate today is the beginning of your life, your covenant together as husband and wife. What you have beginning this day is the grace and glory of a lifelong promise and commitment and love for each other. I, Troy, take you, Megan. I, Troy, take you, Megan. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Until we're parted by death. Until we're parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Troy, when I was a little girl, I would often think of the man I would marry. I'd pick out the best qualities and the best looks and dream up the perfect man. That dream man fell short of you each and every time. There is no one on this earth more right for me than you. You are my match made in heaven and I thank God for that every single day. These last few, few years with you have been nothing short of amazing. You have made each day perfect. Thank you for always making me laugh, making me smile even when I don't want to, and for always protecting me and supporting me. I can't wait to see what the Lord has in store for us. I can't wait to build our home and our family. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle. Love the soon-to-be Mrs. Troy Griffith. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Megan, take you Troy. I, Megan, take you Troy. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. This day forward. For better, for worse. Better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Until we're parted by death. Until we're parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Dear Megan, well, the day is finally here. This past year has gone by so fast, and I can't believe that I will get to call you my wife. Ever since we dated in high school, I knew you were my other half. You are the most perfect person God could have put into my life. You give me strength when I am weak and courage when I am scared. You always know exactly what to say whenever I need it. You are my better half and always have been. I can't wait to grow old with you and spend the rest of my life with you. You are my best friend, and I am truly blessed to be able to call you my wife. I love you more than anything in this world. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you walk down that aisle to me. I have been ready for this day for so long, and I am glad it's finally here. You are the love of my life, and I would not be able to make it through this world without you. Love, Troy. And now, my friends, that Megan and Troy have given, given themselves to each other with solemn vows, I pronounce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Troy and Megan, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. May kiss the bride. <laughs> Troy, you're great. <laughs> Megan, you're great. And together, you're both probably going to be great. Just in case you're not part of uh, that inside joke, that was Troy's full speech at my wedding six years ago. May you both continue to grow in love, not forgetting the importance of understanding, forgiveness, and tolerance. 
but importantly, may you always remember that love brought you together today. A love so strong that you decided to share forever in each other's company. We raise our glasses, not to the happiest day of our lives, but for the first of many to come. Cheers to the bride and groom. I hope you always grow in love. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Trey Griffin.